here we are back again and today I'm going to show you how to use the Qt table we did on Qt to load your CSV file into your application and run the process you need to achieve what you want to achieve so let's jump right into it just after the intro see you guys Okay, we're back on Qt, and now I'm gonna show you how to do. Uh, oh, I mean, how to load your CSV file into your application. So I'm gonna choose this one because if you remember, we had uh, uh, a tutorial about how to use the Qt line with this uh, with this project. So I'm gonna use this one to show you. Uh, I mean to work on the main topic of this tutorial so uh, let's jump into this one and make this like that what we need right now is a Qtab widget so the name of the widget we're gonna add on into our windows is um, let's see uh, table widget where is it yes this is table widget and let me tell you that you can add also the uh, this one the tab view but uh, I'm not gonna work with this right now because there is some other uh, I mean requirements to use this one so we're gonna use this in another video so right now we just need this one so the table widget and just let this uh, name like that so let the name to be uh, let this to be a uh, table widget because I want to recognize it uh, quickly when I will be uh, tearing or changing some properties, some of his properties. So it's oh sorry, some of its properties. So Control S to save and save. Let's run this to see how it uh how it will appear into our window so oh, compile and run and may take some time but this is because it's our first time because we had this new which is into our window so this is the part where you will see a sort of um table like the spreadsheet you used to have when you're running excel or library of a spreadsheet okay this is where you want to have the table and it's simple let's say for example i want to add some columns and some rows on it so it, you double click on it and say head 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 like you're heading columns and head 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 is one and here you're heading rows if you say ok you see you have your spreadsheet right here just and compile and run and you see you have something like uh, the one you had when you were running you know uh, excel or other apps using spreadsheet type of doc spreadsheet document so this is our widget our q table widget and right now i'm going to show you how to load uh the containing of a csv file into it it's pretty much simple because what you uh what you need to know before you do that is what type of separator you set into your csv file and ups and also how you're going to read file the the data into your file it's simple when you use it when you when you're using c plus plus the uh what my advice when you're trying to when you're trying to read a text file or a csv file using c plus plus it to is to read it a, a line after another one so 
if I want to read a file like this, I'm going to read this line first and then read this one, read this one and continue. Uh, and read this, 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 this and this. Okay. So it's pretty much simple. When you're reading a file, the file is read as a string and to split the string you need to know the separator if the separator is a comma though so you will you use a comma to split the line by the string if the separator is a dot you will use the dot to split the string but most of the time the separator is a comma sometimes you may have a semicolon or what we used to say in French the point of your girl and you use that character to split your string because you need a separator to split your string and had um, different entries as this for example this cells this cell this cell this cell and all of the cells for once for one line and you will do that for all of the line inside your file so you see it's pretty much simple to uh, to I mean to do <laughs> okay so let's see how to do that before we we gonna delete all the line and also all the column and also all the line and say ok so we have uh, an empty widget so what we need is oh yeah today also I'm gonna show you how to yeah, how to add a menu inside your application so for example if I want to add something like import right here I'm just just had to have to type here import and you see if I run this right now you see something like um a menu bar with import okay so let's say uh moment Okay, I've removed the menu because I'm important right now. And let's just add a button here and say this button will be the one on which we're gonna click to import our file. So let's say import CSV file. Yeah. So as I said what we need to know before is to know how to set row counts and column counts on uh, using this widget so it's pretty much simple going to the section and type q tab widget q tab width of widget we have the class q tab widget so let's see Column count, row count is the property you need to change to set the the number of line and the number of row uh, on your widget. The other properties you need to know how to handle is the QTL widget item. This one, so uh, yeah, because what we call items is just a cells on a cell sorry a cell on a widget and we want to know how to work with it because it's it it is that uh, I mean it is this occurrence we're gonna use to set a value into our widget it's pretty much simple to use also you see for example if you want to create a new widget there is so much um, so much way to do that you can use this for example see or maybe you can use another one as the one we're going to use for this tutorial see it's pretty much simple uh, just stay focused on what we're doing and try to do the same after uh, you got familiar with what i'm doing right now so the first one is qtel widget we need to change this one and this one so the function we're going to use is set set uh, row count and count count set count count and set row 
come here we're gonna use both of them because we need to set uh, uh, the number of row and the number of column we may need to use also uh, vertical hidden levels yeah sometimes important and also horizontal hidden levels sometimes it's important also so let's see for example I have a file containing uh, let's say 20 rows and six columns because I know the first uh, because I know the first data but okay let's do this here the first thing I'm gonna happen I'm my live harvest and create a new spreadsheet <laughs> okay then pay attention to this this is not important <laughs> so let's say for example this one is c1 and next c2 next c3 next c4 and next c5 and next c6 and inside this uh, I want something like I wish this one how oh. as well see if we have something close to what I wanted to have here I need something like I mean a random function something that will randomly produce a number or a double a real okay this one Alia. We have our spreadsheet now. Let's save it into a CSV file container. So, Control S. Let's say I want a CSV and uh, edit the file type. Let's call this a uh, data set. So, save. Use this. Yes. And this is what I was talking about when I mentioned it, the separator. These files will be separated with a comma. If I want to change the separator, I'm just I just have to change it here. Let's say the same column or the the other ones. But I'm gonna use this because most of the time I prefer I like to work with this one. So okay. It's saved and now i can close it so let's come back here and see how to uh the first thing we need to do is to change oh let's see i'm going to change the name this of this button because i really want it to be something close to import button so input button Now that Windows is ready to be used, I'm gonna say something like See you guys on the next part of this tutorial because on the next part we're gonna have uh, codes behind this one and the code will have to change the state or the uh, the value inside this widget I mean mainly we will use this button to add 
value inside this widget so see you guys in the next part of this tutorial